yeah, we definitely have had many natural coincidences since the day that we got here. That sort of led us to know that this was going going to go off better than we could have imagined. I mean, you know, the universe was on our side. Oh yeah, I'm signing up right now. Oh my God. I'm ready for it. We had to sign our life over to come to this next yeah. year. It would be for sure. This is the most well done festival in a long time. This is the best venue I've ever seen in my life. Beautiful out here. It's nice to be here in December. I couldn't ask for more. You ever been in that situation where there's a bug and you want somebody to eat the bug and they say like, ah, oh, yeah, give me 20 bucks to eat the bug and they're like, no, I'll eat the bug for $250 and nobody ever has the $250, right? Well, I've been in that situation many times in my life and I always secretly wish that I had $250 on me. And so we're sitting at the signing and um, I hear from a, you know, a little birdie or whatever that says, Ryan saw the guy in the Borat suit and just offhandedly said, I would wear that on stage for a grand. Just, you know, posturing. And, uh, you know, as much as, like, you just want to let that kind of comment go, it's stuck in my head in that very spot. And I realized just almost immediately, $1,000 was the correct price. You know, in fact, I thought it was sort of a bargain. So, I left the signing and decided that if 50 people gave me 20 bucks, we would do it. And uh, apparently there's 50 people with 20 bucks on this island, and uh, everybody wanted to see it. So we paid Ryan, Ryan's man of his word, got on stage and did the show. And that's basically all it was. Um, you know, my one time in life where we made the guy eat the bug. That's all there is to it, you know? You always want to, you always wish you just had that money to just throw away in that situation. And, and I also think it was, you know, he's the only guy in the world that actually could pull it off that well. I mean, he looked great. He looked awesome. I mean, Borat looked good. Brian looked better. He had the headband, the shades. I think he should do that look every night. Unfortunately, I'm not going to canvas the Humphreys McGee crowd for $20 a piece every night to get him to do that. But do you think oh. it would improve ticket sales of Brian? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you look at any, any band in history that has dressed down to some sort of uh, simple, like, you look at the Chili Peppers. I mean, you can look at... Uh, Blink-182, I believe, played naked. Um, it's been a lot. I mean, John Lennon took his clothes off and with, with Yoko in a photo shoot. And anytime a rock musician decides to remove his clothes, he's just removing another layer between himself and the audience. And the audience, they desire, for some reason, they desire to, to be closer to the artist and who they are and what they really mean and, and what they're all about. And so he managed to do that for us all today. And I think it was a great punctuation to what was just, I mean, Caribbean Holidays was such an amazing event for the amount of days that we were here. And really, I think it's the marquee festival in the world right now because it's just so perfect. And it went over without a, without a hitch. And it's beautiful to see Ryan celebrated on that level, you know, to just basically give himself to everyone's, you know, everyone's own entertainment. I'm very, very proud of him, and I'm very honored to have been a small part of it and just see it happen. But everybody participated, and it was really a great thing. I'm in Jamaica for the holidays with you again, and you. And you, and you. I'm Gabe from Maryland, and it's off the hook. Fantastic. I can't wait till the show starts. Yeah, it's I'm right uh, here some music. I, I want to see what they bring. I, I'm at the best place I could be right now in the whole world. Not just mentally, physically, but mostly emotionally. It's great. It's here in my right now. <laughs>
Ah, yes! Holidays!